Hello, Technology Crazy here, and I'm going to do a quick review on FW Changer, or fr Firmware Changer. So, um, first you want to go into Cydia and install it. If you don't know what Cydia is, it's probably because you have not been jailbroken yet. You want to go and check out my other videos on how to do that. So, um, first you want to just download it, then you open it up, and if you click Check Firmware, or FW, your current firmware will pop up. Now, before you do anything else, you want to write this down, um, just in case you make any mistakes. So write down 3.1.1, and then the build is 7C145. Um, now, if you didn't notice, the 3.1.1 uh, goes to the very, very top right here, and the build goes here. So, to find out what firmware you want, like, for example, the newest one is 3.1.2, you need to find the build too. So go in the link in my description. And it's actually for a website that downloads all the firmwares. So you can like restore in, um, iTunes and for that like, firmware you want. But it also has all the builds right beside it. So I have the iPod Touch 2G and the newest one is 3.1.2. And the build is 7D11. So I'm just going to type that into my iPod. 7D11. Now, if I go back to my iPod, there it is. And then once you're done that, you want to select firmware, custom firmware. Now, now when you check the firmware, it says 3.1.2, 7D11. And to prove that it works, let's just go to my settings. Okay, now I'm just going to go under general and about, and there it says my version is 3.1.2. Um, and just to prove this works even more, let's just go back here. I'm going to change to firmware 1.1.1, so the very, very first firmware. I'm just going to click on it. Now, when I check it, it says 1.1.1. 3A, 11, O, A, 1, doesn't matter. So now I want to go into the App Store. And let's try downloading any free app. Oh yes, one thing is the App Store thinks it's on the first firmware, so it does take a while to load. I forgot about that. It actually does affect your iPod, surprisingly. Okay, so here's, um, what, not now. Let's line up free. Let's install it. And it says, this application requires the iPhone up, uh, iPhone 3, 2.1.1 software update. So, basically that means that it was on a very, very low firmware, and iTunes would not recognize it. No, it would actually recognize it, but it would need the update. So, um, subscribe, comment, it would really help. Yeah, and I'll do some more videos, so check out my other videos. I'm doing a few videos today on some um, really cool apps I found, so check out those. Um, and yeah, bye.